Surprise, Drunk Disney fans! Welcome to Drunk Disney Libation Studios, where I, the disembodied hands of Ragnarok folks, once again craft a delicious cocktail to pair with this month's Drunk Disney. Tomorrow, in honor of the remake coming out this Friday, James, Chelsea, Dave, and our special guest Joel Arnold are watching the original 1977 Pete's Dragon, which is a movie that is so bad I don't even have words to describe it. Hey, you shut your disembodied mouth! James loves this movie. I love it. I feel bad shitting on it. No, you don't. I don't. It's real bad. My original plan for this movie was to do a long. Island iced tea because it's a rough one and I wanted to give him something strong to help get him through it, but James pointed out before we started shooting that I already made a Long Island iced tea for Hercules. So I'm mixing it up and instead of just iced tea, we're gonna do a half and half Arnold Palmer style, but we're gonna put alcohol in it, making it a John Daly. And I'm gonna give it a Pete's Dragon twist by using dragon fruit. So we're gonna call this one a Dragon Fruit Daily. In this cocktail is dragon fruit, lemon, two to one simple syrup, iced tea, and our spirit this time is going to be citrus vodka. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna start by splitting open our dragon fruit. Ooh, look at it, pretty. All right, I'm gonna scoop out the fleshy bit of the dragon fruit here, probably staining my cutting board in the process. Give that a little chop. I'm gonna take a couple pieces, put them into the small part of our shaker. Now we're gonna muddle to mash that up. All right, I'm gonna juice a half a lemon into the dragon fruit. To that, I'm gonna add an ounce of two to one simple syrup. And finally, James's favorite, citrus vodka. I'm gonna do two ounces. Fill the shaker with ice. And mix up our lemonade. All right, I've got a glass here with ice. And I'm gonna double strain our lemonade mixture into. Ooh, look at that color. Look at how pretty that is. We're double straining because the dragon fruit's got seeds and that might be weird to drink. All right, we're just gonna float in some iced tea on top. Now that my fingers are nice and dragon fruit stained, we have completed our dragon fruit daily. I'm really happy with this one. I'm glad you pointed out that I already made a, a Long Island because this looks really cool. <laughs> I hope it tastes good. It does. Good summertime drink, guys. I highly recommend this one. <laughs> Kinda threw it together last minute, but surprise, it's a surprise drink for a surprise drunk Disney. I just got this dragon fruit at our local supermarket, so hopefully you can find one there too. And you've got a nice refreshing cocktail to go with a really funny episode of Drunk Disney. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for Drunk Disney Pete's Dragon and check out Pete's Dragon in theaters this Friday. Why not? It's gotta be better than the original. Sure does. And be sure to tune in later this month for the regularly scheduled Drunk Disney Meet the Robinsons with Brianna Rose. I'll have a new cocktail for that one too, but until then, I have been the disembodied hands. Cheers. Hooray for happy accidents.